How, how does that thing fit in there? It sandwiches. You cut out the thing, put it at an angle, mm -hmm. it sandwiches in between, and then you tighten that up until it gets to what you want. Actually, stick in the hole, mm -hmm. it'll, the, the plenum will sit around the this edge right here on this seal, mm -hmm. and this sandwiches up against it. It's um, double pane because it's UV rated, that, and it just makes it easier on the install for a sandwich than having to drill holes and all that fun stuff. I mean, that's strictly for UV for being able to look inside the plenum around it. It's just the style of this one is it's just a sandwich. Versus weld? Yes. Is the template cut obviously smaller? Yeah, the uh, template that they give us, it's uh, the actual size of the thing itself right here, uh -huh. and not so much the seal. That way it actually has something to seal up against. If you made it that size there, it wouldn't be doing any good. Right. So this is the size of this part, and this right here is the sandwich is around everything else. Okay. And they call it a sandwich door because? It got two pieces in it and it closes together. Okay. Almost like a sandwich. Yeah. Then you tighten it down, but you don't want to over tighten. Right. Are most of these plenums uh, line? Everything. Yep. All I mean, you know, I mean in, in general, are most of them? They're, all the plenums and the trunks are lined. Nowadays they are. They are. Uh, it's not the stuff we're, we have in there right now, the poly armor. Plug it back in. Now let me know if you can see the light. Now should I? Should we avoid looking at the light? Yes. I'd avoid being that close to. The can you see the glow coming out of? It's good. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. That's pretty easy to install. Yes. That's a lot easier than what I was uh picturing. That's why I'm paying them to do it. Huh? <laughs> I heard something about looks. That's gonna hurt. Okay. All right. Come down about ten inches where the break is right there. About right here. Plenum. Yes, sir. You want it about right here? Right here. Yep. That way. You Majority of your work installs like new construction installs. Yes. So you're uh, using snips a lot. You're cutting a lot of metal. For uh, in situations like this, yes, um, we use grinders, uh, speedy snips, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. turbo shears. Oh yeah, yeah. For like the thicker stuff. Like those Malco turbo shears. Yes. Yeah. And on stuff like this being inside and already going you don't want a bunch of stuff flying back into your unit so yeah snips are your best way to go is that a left cut yes i like to use the left i can actually cut straighter with a left cut than i can a right or left cut's got red handles yes red. red yeah the green is your right reds are your left and yellows are straight reds are Typically left cut? Yes. You see how, see how it, it, it kind of veers off to the left? Yeah. Yeah, so they're left cuts. Then your green ones would have more of a right angle to it. And then, of course, your yellow ones would be straight. Yeah, still straight. Oh, that's a pain. Because Wiss actually makes the better of the snip. That's that poly armor right there. Wiss actually makes the better of the snips for all the other companies, too. Wiss has been doing it for quite some time. There's a better way to cut this stuff, but I'm never well, have, not, not I'll really. deal with it. Not so really. Anything loose hanging out. So the, the white the white fabric in there, it, it's like reinforced. It feels like that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. It's a lot a lot thicker than most. Mm -hmm. And once again.
those access doors, it's double pane, I believe, right? Yes, you got one out here and you got one on this side. Makes it's, it's got a, like a UV. UV rated. It's, it's got some kind of protectant on it. Yeah. Almost like a tent for mm -hmm. a car or whatever. If you didn't, if you just had, if it was just single pane and, and didn't have a UV, would it make the place hot in here? Or? No, no. no. You're not, you're not generating any heat at all off that light. And that right there is just for if you were to get up close and look at it. Okay. Then the UV light wouldn't, wouldn't mess no, with your eyes. UV coating on the light. So we can look at it. I would, it's not recommended, but it is kind of sort of like looking at the sun with sunglasses. You can you still have UV sunglasses. Huh? Yeah, you know, during the winter, when it gets dark at yeah. six o'clock, we might be It'll able be to nice. enjoy some of it.